Hi there. Illiterate of 21st century is not a person who cannot merely read or write, but the person who cannot learn, unlearn and relearn. Alvin Toffler. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. By choice, <laughs> I'm a learning and sharing professional and today I strongly feel if I may share something little bit about public speaking and in that ocean of public speaking also something about you know how to connect with people when you begin your session uh, and you know how to start the session those early few minutes yeah so uh, let's go for it you know before getting into it I, I have thought of an acronym that acronym is basically SOS it's like save our souls to save our sessions yeah <laughs> sounds good yeah so thank you very much for your kind patience and all these years, all these times, you know, motivating me, encouraging me. Thank you very much for being there. Yeah. So how to start a session? How to connect with people? If I may ask you most respectfully, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I mean all kinds of people, the trainers, teachers, facilitators, and also even the you know emerging MBA grads who have to give presentations. Yeah. All of you. Yeah. All of us. Yes. So what's in us can connect with the person you meet maybe a stranger or group of people what's in us that can connect yeah yes the smile one of it is basically the smile i mean all those positive things yeah the smile appreciation of the person the joy empathy love all those elements yeah all this is basically our intrinsic nature peace isn't it so so these things connect. So when it comes to a, a target group, you are maybe interacting for the first time. Yeah, though you have known little bit about them from their line manager or maybe the person from any say institute or college or university something. So you know a little bit about them. Yeah. So this is what. What else can connect? Definitely a well-defined objective and the concrete takeaways which you are going to sensitize, highlight in the beginning. At the start of your session maybe you are having a ppt or maybe otherwise also so when you do that so these are few connectors what else i strongly feel and this is out of my uh, spiritual experience when we have this self-realization and very very um, close to heart experience that uh, when you see yourself in the other you know uh, this is the quote of a buddha then you can't hurt anyone forget about hurting you can't make fun of others because many times in, in a session it happens, you know, because it becomes an intellectual game. We try to pull each other, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, that's basically when there is no other, <laughs> when there is no division, you know, <laughs> when you know, uh, there is no dwait. So, uh, but that's a spiritual dimension. We can uh, anytime, you know, you can you can explore into that. But before that, you know, uh, even the preparation which you prepare, even when it comes to your your dress, your dressing skills. So are you present in the present? And I keep saying only the person who is present, 100% in the present, can only present the best present. I have mentioned in my book also, 24 Great Life, few years ago. Okay, so if you are not present in front of your participants, yeah, you are always in the future. Most of the time you are in the future because of certain insecurities, certain fears or you are in the, in the past you are trying to dig out that knowledge then how you are going to connect who in you is going to connect with the participants they are at least present physically and your challenge is basically to bring them not at the physical present but psychological presence as well yeah isn't it so so what are those barriers which uproot you or remove you throw you out in the future is basically that fear yeah mirror session Mera boss mere bare mein kya sochega baitha hai nahi baitha hai kuch bande baithe hain feedback denge participants mere bare mein kya sochenge koi agar tough questions agar wo puchhenge to main sab main jawab de paunga ya nahi de paunga ya mere job ka kya hoga you know what will happen to my body image all those things no come on burn it yeah you are just an instrument be the message nimit matra yeah you are not the hero neither are the participants they are also not the hero yeah you have to respect them but learning and sharing that message, the objective is the hero. Yeah. So yeah, just you know, be there. You can dress up the way you want, whatever, you know, it sinks in your personality. That's fine. Be there. Prepare. You should know your content. You basically the content, the intent, and how to present. So get it. You know, S O S. That's basically S stands for 
senses, the five senses, or maybe the sixth sense, you know, the sensory organ, the sensory perceptions, you have to work on that. With these five senses, these are the yards, these are the checks and measures, you have to check with those five senses, you know, are you present in the present? Maybe you pinch yourself, okay? A few deep breaths, people practice that, okay? Take a look at the participant, yes, I am here, it's no more a dream, yeah? Come out of all those images, don't make images, yeah? Imagination is fine, but now you are present, accept the reality. From here, how to go now? That's it. Preparation done, it's all fine. Now you are there. Okay. So accept and be grateful for this situation. Five senses. Yeah. So I'm going to share with you two examples. One example, you know, uh, uh, this is basically situational. You know, many times I do different, different things based on the situation. I take a look of the room of that training hall. We do get a time. As, as a trainer, as a teacher, we do get a time, isn't it? We, we are sitting there and someone, you know, may, may introduce you, we have a time. Or the moment when you enter into the hall, we take a look very closely. Something very different, interesting, appealing, fascinating. Take a look and maybe you can talk a little bit about that. For example, when I get on the stage, I, with due respect, look at the people with that smile. Now, I, I mentioned about the uh, title. Maybe I'll open my first slide of the presentation. I greet them. And then, you know, uh, there are certain disclaimers and uh, then I begin. Yeah? I don't introduce, but I begin with that, you know. Suppose, you know, there is a bouquet of flowers, very good flowers, three, four different types of flowers. I take a look of that, at that bouquet and then uh, I look at one of the smiling faces. Then I ask, sir, madam, when you look at this bouquet, what comes to your mind? Uh, how do you feel? Then you get, you know, different responses, acknowledge each kind of response, respect them. And then you can express your perspective. I express in this fashion. I say that, you know, wow, beautiful flowers, yeah? And all are different, they are unique. My goodness, this room is filled with different, unique, unique personalities, brains, hearts, yeah? So there is a lot to learn from each other, yeah? The responsibility or the success of this training program is not only, the onus is not only on the speaker, but all of us, let's make it a great success. Let's flower into ourselves, into our beings and let's spread the fragrance of positivity and the key takeaway is the learnings of this session. That's what I, you know, so sometimes something else, something, yeah. So this is, you know, why? Why, you know? Because, you know, this, you know, uh, builds up something, you know, uh, unexpected, something pleasant surprise for them and they get, they get, you know, together, they get down to the reality, they are present in the present, yeah. This is one. Second, uh, if I may recall, you know, a movie called uh, the After Earth is one of my favorite directors from Hollywood, Manoj Naid Shyamalan, you know, and uh, Will Smith and his son Jaden Smith. Uh, I'm sure most of us, you know, uh, would have watched that movie. So uh, there is one scene. I'm not going to get into the details of the scenes. It's basically how to overcome the fear, the phobia, and an alien, an alien can see the human beings who are fearful because they emit certain vibrations. But the alien can't see a person who is fearless. So Will Smith, that's the father, says to his son when he, uh, when he faces, you know, when he encounters that alien, when he says over phone, yeah, if you want to be fearless, be in the present. And to be in the present, you have to take, you know, uh, take charge of the elements around. Touch the earth, pinch yourself, look at the things clearly. That's the beginning of being in the present. So that's how, you know, you can feel the, feel, feel the ambience over there in the training room. You can feel the people, yeah, offload yourself from all those expectation, imagination, thought process, all those things, yeah. And yes, your participants are also there because the training program, presentation, these all are analytical skills by and large. Pe people, you know, they are thinking something. They are full of so many thoughts, preconceived notion. You have to empty the cup. <laughs> you have to empty the cup and the way is basically I feel. Yeah, engage them physically. Yeah, to start with, you know, offload them, you know, uh, the, the, so I, I do one activity also, you know, uh, I, I make the use of, you know, uh, brain gym exercises, sometimes, you know, left hand in one direction, clockwise, right hand in another direction, doing like this, doing like this, some brain gym exercise, something, you know, so they, 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 they try to do this and you will see eventually the, the, the room, the training hall gets filled with so much of joy and laughter, that's what you all want. So, it's basically an icebreaker, you got it right. So, there are different kinds of icebreakers as we know, you know, trainers, teachers, facilitators, yeah. 
some people they begin with inspiring story some inspiring quote some inspiring video clip some people they draw something on the board of the flip chart they try to probe ask questions yeah i do uh, ask question but see initial question should not be an intellectual challenge for the people it should be entertaining entertaining not at the cost of making fun of someone you know making mockery but you know real real fun people laugh that's what so you can you choose your way whatever you know suits to you but bring them all together you be the, and if you want to bring them all together first of all you need to be present over there that's what how to connect yeah so this is basically working on the senses and then the next component of sos is basically observation unbiased non judgmental complete total choiceless observation here and now because when we observe things as they are without any labels yeah without any images without any halo effects yeah because sometimes you face the people maybe 50 people 500 people and some faces you see you know they look you know uh, like your friends you know maybe you may not like them you may like them and you try to you know assume that you know this person may be like your friend no this person is different even the same person but now he is different he is new isn't it you know uh, some greek philosopher has said you know you can't step into the same river twice because it's changing it's new isn't it are you able to see the newness respect that and for that you need to be nothing like colorless water <laughs> if you are already colored i mean having some biases some concepts you know if you feel it's okay you know you have knowledge it's fine no problem it's a broader framework but there is always scope to be more creative more compassionate and enable competence among people facilitate isn't it so observation and observation not in the beginning it's all the time it's there you can observe their body language sometimes the unsaid words yeah what they want to say but they are not able to say there are different kinds of participants now i'm not getting to you know how to handle different kinds of participants but then some participants are you no know, they are little shy if you can read them you can observe them you can encourage them you can ask them respectfully yeah it helps a lot observation yeah unbiased observation yeah and this this, this helps you know this helped me a lot when i moved to some other geography you know other countries other cultures you know so the common denominator just to recall love isn't it universal love and out of it you know you know love breeds focus energy joy you know a smile respect a lot of fun yeah isn't it you know you are dealing with adults even when you are nowadays dealing with college you know students they are also like adults so you can't dictate terms make it a fun make it a joyful learning make it you know self experience learning okay that's what observation then the s ladies and gentlemen boys and girls is basically uh, i feel that's my way is being spontaneous you have a well defined content that's okay you have one day suppose you are taking maybe leadership skills maybe change management team building maybe it's you know problem solving skills it's fine when it comes to analytical skills maybe technical skills it's very easy the content is fine no problem but the challenge comes you know when it comes to the soft skills yeah uh, sometimes you know on the borderline say functional skills you know sell, selling skills yeah because you know there are many perspectives and different you know experiences of different kinds of people over there which you need to acknowledge and respect so be open for that you know be spontaneous enable and see sometimes you know most of the time i have experience you know when i begin and when i end the session even maybe one hour or maybe you no know, two days of workshop okay we'll see the learnings are phenomenal you no know, tremendous learnings which you are not even imagine in the beginning how it unfolded there are so many geniuses are sitting so many different brains are sitting in the hall isn't it you have to just facilitate it enable be open and it will it will it will unfold it will flower it will unwind that's what you know the wonder of learning and uh, see there is one more thing you know trainers feel that they are catalyst catalyst means you know the that thing which enhances the rate of reaction without getting affected no giving and receiving is one phenomena you do get affected my dear friend <laughs> you also learn you also evolve so it is you know co exploring co evolving that's what it is and you know many people struggle with you know tough questions you know how to that's okay if you know that's fine you know there are many techniques boomerang techniques you ask people they know you know i try to probe if you don't know accept you don't know that's fine okay i am not going to get into how to handle the questions basically the you know the discussion or 
or the point of discussion was basically how to start a session. We did mention about the ice breakers. We mentioned about how to be, be in the present. Now, how to be in the present cannot be taught. It needs to be caught. It comes through your own experience. You know. Call it spiritual intelligence. And by spiritual intelligence, I mean your divine presence. You know, it cannot be taught. We have to uh, realize. Yeah, Once you are there, but uh, let me tell you what really helps me is, you know, that love. When I see there is no other, there is no division, you know, I just empathize that. Even sometimes, you know, people ask me, Sir, uh, you have read a book, you have read a book, you have tremendous knowledge. So, I say, yes, you have read a book, please make a note of that book. And then <laughs> some people write, then I say, Tonic for a Great Life. They say, who's the book? I say, my book. Sometimes people say, yeah, you are talking, it's very profound. Internet mein dekha hai kya? Mai kehta hum, haan yaar, shayad dekha hoga, pata nahi. That's okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah. So be with the flow, and those who can understand, those who can feel your energy level, that's fine. See, it's basically transcending the communication. It's basically getting into communion, and only the energies can be, you know, getting into that synergistic. So when you're free from ego, when you enable the people, at least some people, it becomes communion. There you are, you are home. Thank you.